How to be down to earth. You want to be more down to earth. People who are considered down to earth tend to act humble, practical, and unassuming. This is a way of being, and it is certainly something that you can cultivate. Begin by confronting your ego and looking beyond yourself. Method 1 Working on Your Habits 1. Consider why you want to be down to earth. Perhaps you want to change your demeanor because your behavior bothers other people. You may seek to reform your habits for the sake of peace or happiness, or to bring your life into greater balance. Perhaps you feel that you are living beyond your means, or that you can't control your feelings, or that you spend too much of your life with your head in the clouds. 2. Start small. There is no one way to be down to earth, and there is no single big change that you can make to immediately become down to earth. It is a lifestyle, a demeanor, and a label. It is a collection of habits. Thus, if you want to be more down to earth, you'll need to start by changing your habits. Try to identify specific behaviors that do not feel down to earth, and begin by gradually changing these behaviors. There are many ways to be down to earth. Ultimately, this is a quality that you want to see in yourself, and a quality that you may not find in your current way of being. Start from where you are. 3. Hold yourself accountable. It can be hard to stay self aware, especially when you are evaluating the way that you act on a day to day basis. Look for someone that you trust to hold you accountable a friend, a family member, a teacher, a counselor. Speak frankly with this person about your desire to be more down-to-earth. Together, identify specific habits and behaviors that you can change to reach your goal. Ask the person to keep an eye on the way that you're acting, and check in with them periodically to review your progress. Method 2 Being Down-to-Earth in Your Demeanor 1. Be Humble Do not inflate your own self-worth. Do not let your identity become wrapped up in wealth, or status, or material things. Remind yourself that other people's needs and perspectives are just as important as your own. You may be better at certain things than most people, but you may not be so good at other things. Let go of the ego, and keep perspective. 2. Think before you speak. Slow down and say exactly what you mean. Catch yourself when you are not being mindful of the people around you. Be straightforward and unpretentious. Try not make assumptions about people or situations, and try not to needlessly hurt anyone with your words. Learn to express what you want without making demands. Explain yourself, when possible, and ask rather than order. Instead of saying, take out the trash, say do you mind taking out the trash so that I can keep cooking dinner? 3. Look beyond yourself. Maintain personal hygiene, but seriously consider how much time you spend looking in the mirror. Think about how often you mindlessly check your phone or your Facebook account. Try to spend less energy on your social and physical appearance, and spend more energy on things beyond yourself. Volunteer your time and go out of your way to help others. Do this until it is second nature. 4. Accept people for who they are. Instead of trying to change them or criticize them, try to learn from them. Focus less on how people are different, and more on how people are similar. Try to see the silver lining in every situation. Confront hate in your life. If there is someone that you strongly dislike, try to objectively consider why you dislike them. Think about whether they're really doing anything wrong. Treat everyone as a human being. There is no reason to feel inferior or superior. Try to treat people on the basis of character, not personality. 5. Listen to people. Be present and attentive, and don't just wait for your chance to speak. Value someone's right to speak, even if you do not agree with what they're saying. 
Never turn your back on people or interrupt them while they're talking. Respect people as you would like to be respected. Method 3. Leading a Down-to-Earth Lifestyle 1. Keep the big picture in mind. Try to not to get too tangled up in the details. Remind yourself that things will work out one way or another, and that even the worst of situations will eventually pass. Don't give up on the important things, but try to recognize the details that are merely distracting you. 2. Lead a simple life. Separate your needs from your wants, and try to focus on the things that are truly important. Consume only what you need, and be mindful of how much waste you produce. Live within your means, whatever that means for you. Avoid overspending. Buy things for their practical function, not for how they look or how they will make you look. Simplify. Go through your possessions, and sell or donate the things that you don't use or need. Stop holding on to things just because they're yours. 3. Live in accordance with your values. Connect with the people, the places, and the causes that are important to you. Care about the planet, the future, and the people in your life. Learn to live a more environmentally friendly lifestyle, and think seriously about your impact. 4. Be grateful for what you have. Appreciate how wonderfully lucky you are to be alive, breathing, and growing in this moment. Show your gratitude for the people who make your life worth living, friends, family, loved ones, acquaintances. Accept your life for what it is. Don't give up on your dreams and aspirations, but do not try to make a fantasy a reality. Cultivate a gratitude practice. Make a habit of thanking people and complimenting people. Every morning, write down five things for which you are grateful. 5. Be patient and thoughtful. Accept the things that you cannot change, and work to thoughtfully change the things that you cannot accept. Be aware of your surroundings, particularly the way that your behavior affects the way that other people feel. Don't be afraid to wait, or to go with the flow. Tips Sit and listen to music for a while. It will calm you down. Learn how to play a musical instrument. This can help you express yourself in beautiful ways. Getting a good therapist may help you become more down-to-earth. Warnings Don't become too detached when trying to be down-to-earth. You still should be able to maintain connections with others.